What's going on guys? It is Wyatt. This morning we are currently headed up to Virginia to go pick up a couple of new toys. We are taking the old Duramax on up to Virginia today and we are towing the two car Texas Pride trailer of Kyle's and so far so good. This thing tows really well. Um, as you can see over here, we've got the directions pulled up. We've got about 11 and a half hours to go. So quite the drive ahead of me. And hopefully we won't have any issues with the truck. Uh, at the end of the saying goodbye video when we drove down to Florida, I was actually having a bit of a fuel knock and this truck did get a fresh set of injectors before I left. Uh, but I think I might have one kind of on the edge or doing something funky. Uh, so there was that. I am slightly worried about it, but it was the lesser of two evils versus taking Kyle's truck, which currently has cords showing on both rear tires. So figured we'd just take the old Duramax and hope that she makes it. Uh, one more trip before I pull it apart to look at that injector. Well guys, it is about 13 hours later. Uh, we made it up here to Virginia. You can see the truck and the trailer there in the background. Uh, I'm gonna go introduce you guys to Mike and show you guys what we are up here picking up. All right, so this here is Mike. I know the oh. picture quality is pretty crap right now because it is dark shit. out. It feels like it's like 10 o'clock, but it's what, 7? Yep, 7 o'clock and dark as hell. Yeah, so you guys can't really see him, but Mike is hobbling around on his crutches, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, a drunk driver. Yeah, gotta love him, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you my run-in with one off camera. <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're shitty. Yeah. But uh, he's got a broken foot, so he is hobbling around. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we're going to do our best to get these new toys loaded. So drove all the way up here to Virginia to pick up two jet skis. Mike's already giving me the rundown on them, but uh, just real quick, you want to tell them what they are? Yeah, one's a, a turbo Honda jet ski, so I, I figured that would fit y'all pretty good. Um, it's got a blown turbo on it right now, but I'm sure that won't be nothing for y'all to figure something out to make some power with it. And the other one, a little Sea Dew. That one's just kind of a, a fun cruiser, but definitely a fun little unit. And you, you should have some fun with both of them for sure down there. Heck yeah, man. I'm really looking forward to it. I've never owned jet skis before, I've owned snowmobiles and a bunch of other dumb shit, but. This is definitely a first, and uh, Mike actually saw an Instagram post I made. I wanted to get out on the water like this weekend, so made a post looking for some skis, and he hit me up and decided to make the 13-hour-ish drive on up here to pick these guys up. So we're going to go ahead and get these things loaded real quick, and then we'll film a little bit more. Pretty straight back there. There you go, straight back. Yep. If you want, I can hook the winch if that would help you at all. Straight. All right, hold up there. Oh, we just barely fit. <laughs> and just like that, we got the skis up on the trailer. It is pretty dark out here, so I'll have to get some better shots of them in the morning. But they're all strapped down. Hopefully they don't go anywhere. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is breaking through this plywood that I have up front since this is kind of an open center trailer. So that's the only sketchy part, but hopefully there's enough straps on them that it won't go anywhere if that does break. So we are all loaded up. I'm fixing to get out of here. Uh, big thank you to Mike for hooking it up on the skis. No problem at all. Freaking really cool guy. Glad I made the trip up here. Yeah, Got to sure. check out his truck too. It's a uh, 05, right? Yep, 05. 05, LOI. LOI makes over a thousand well over a thousand got enough fuel for 14 but she's never been on dyno we don't we don't push them like that but she's right she's mostly just a street truck but for any of the guys in the diesel world you'll know what this is but it's got two 14 mils yep. and some 250 overs yep. and a big big s400 yeah big old gator charger on it uh a gt45 series charger with a lot of shit done to it um fully built loi uh Obviously, fully built trans behind it. Uh, truck gets down. Um, we don't we don't like to boast about it too much, but it's a fun truck on the street for sure. Right, right. And this ain't this ain't no oh he said she said. This has got a ultra billet in it. Yep. Um, Howard rods. Yep. yep. So yeah, it's fully built. Thing's pretty badass. You got to check it out a little bit. Uh, if you guys want to see more on that, do you have anywhere to check it out? Um, you can check it out on Instagram. I don't really do a ton of the YouTube stuff, but on Instagram it's uh, Mike underscore easy 97 is my Instagram. Uh, it's on there all the time, um, and you'll see it around in the ODSS class, uh, racing and being on the track. Heck yeah. Yeah, the plan is to meet up later this year. Hopefully I'll get my truck done, and maybe we'll run into Mike at some events. Maybe get he'll get this C10 thing out. Down there. Yeah, 
So it'll be sweet. Um, but with that being said, you guys can check out his stuff on Instagram. Uh, also, his company-ish, not his, but works for another yep. company. Back Bay Diesel in Virginia Beach, Virginia. If you got any needs, go down there. Uh, the owner down there is a good guy, and uh, I'm on the text over there, and we'll take care of you. And yeah. Get your truck on it right. Yeah, I checked out their stuff, and they definitely seem like they got it going on, and you guys work on a lot of cool stuff there. So We try to. Try Heck, yeah. Fun. Well, with that being said, I'm going to go get some sleep, man. 13-hour yeah, trip. <laughs> <laughs> so, heck, cool. yeah. Well, I appreciate it again. Yeah, buddy. No and uh, like I said, we'll have to link back up here shortly. Yeah, Hopefully, sure. we get the trucks out and go cool. do some fun stuff with them. Yeah, for sure, man. we are back on the road again after getting the jet skis loaded on the trailer last night I kind of caught a second wave of energy so I just decided to drive into the night as far as I could uh, I ended up stopping about 2 in the morning and grabbing a hotel room in North Carolina somewhere and then hit the road again about 10 o'clock so we've been making good time we're actually only a couple hours out from being home but I have to stop in Jacksonville real quick uh, Jacksonville Florida that is because Kyle sent me a car that he had found on Mark marketplace last night so if everything checks out on it we've got an open spot on the car trailer we're gonna go ahead get that thing loaded up and be bringing that home with us as well so we're a couple minutes out from there I'm gonna check it out real quick not sure if I'll film anything um, but yeah I'm anxious to see this thing it'll be a really cool project if we decide to pick it up so I'm gonna turn the camera off focus on catching my exit here and yeah hopefully we go home with a new car well guys, it is now the third day of our little adventure. We finally made it back to the house. Uh, I actually made it here late last night. Uh, just crashed, so this morning we're gonna go ahead and take a look at everything we got on the trailer. Uh, like I said, we did stop in Jacksonville and pick up a car for Kyle. Uh, I don't know if he really wants me to show it, but I'm gonna do it anyways. <laughs> and uh, there it is, man. This thing is sweet, to be honest. Like, really cool. I mean, I just love the paint scheme, and it's super clean for what it is. So, you want to tell them just a little bit what it is? It's, uh, I don't know what year, but it's a Suzuki Sidekick, a 90-something. And for now, it's going to be our daily. We'll probably build it later on, but it's just going to be a nice little beach cruiser for now until the time comes to uh, rip the motor out of this thing and do a little upgrading. <laughs> but that's all we're going to say for now with this yeah. thing's tight. It is awesome, man, and we definitely got some cool plans for it in the future. Um, but yeah, this thing is like super cool. I honestly did not expect it to be this clean. Um, outside of it's in really good shape. The paint's all in good shape. And then the inside too is like almost immaculate. So pretty sweet little car. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing unloaded. And then obviously you guys can probably check that out more on Kyle's channel. I don't know when I'll make a video on it, but at some point soon it'll be out. So a little yeah. behind the scenes there. Freaking, yes, I don't know, with my upload schedule, you I might actually beat me. <laughs> I was going to say, I'll probably beat you to upload it. <laughs> oh, man. So there's that, and then we got the jet skis also. So I'm going to get these unloaded, and then we can talk about those guys a little bit more. This is actually, I think, the first time I am showing you guys these in the daylight. So let's go ahead, and we're going to start getting this trailer unloaded.
set of skis, dude. All right, so this one is the 05 Aquatrax. Uh, supposedly everything is good on this one, but it just needs a turbo. So we're gonna try and fire it up real quick. Uh, I already cranked it over just to make sure there was no water or anything in the cylinders because it was exposed when we were driving in like fucking monsoons. So that kind of sucked, but uh, it is good. It turns over good. So I'm gonna see if it'll fire up real quick. Uh, if it does, I'm not gonna let it run because all the oil lines and stuff are unhooked for the oil feed on the turbo. So I guess. Just give her a shot, dude. Oh. Hey, yo. She runs. Up, dude. Oh, shit. Damn. Dang. That is sick, bro. Fired right up. Dude, fires right up. No issues. And it's got oil and oil pressure because I already saw it coming out of the freaking feed tube in just that short amount of time. So, dude, that is sick. Ooh, we're a turbo away from ripping this one. You got these for a steal, dude. Dude. It's already running. Yeah, got these for an absolute steal. Already runs. Um, I'm going to hit up my turbo builder guy and see if he can just rebuild my turbo that I have for this because it's pretty torn up. Or, I was honestly thinking it'd be kind of cool I don't know how big of a bitch it'd be just to put like a manifold on it, kind of do a turbocharger in the back there and then do like a straight pipe out the back. I think that'd be kind of cool. And since I'm in Probably the ski pretty nothing, sick. it wouldn't mean nothing to me to cut a hole through the freaking hole <laughs> to do it. Yeah, it'd be cool. It'd be pretty sick. Dude. Oh, I'm pumped. <laughs> These are going to be sick. Now I guess we got to try and fire up that one. We got to find a battery. Yeah. But supposedly, supposedly that one's water ready. So... We gotta so, I mean, if this up. one runs, then that one better. I would hope. So, uh, 10 minutes later of cranking on this thing, I found the fuel shut off. So, I'm gonna give it another try now. Now it should work. Idiot, dude. Freaking dippy. The lines are probably pretty dry. Oh, there it is. It's coming. Keep going, it's, it'll, it'll fire up. There she is. Hey. I wouldn't run it too long without water though. Said so you only want to run them for a few seconds out of water. So I went over to Walmart real quick, got a new battery put in the sea here. We're getting ready to actually go test this thing out in the water, uh, make sure it floats, see if it runs good. You guys did hear a little bit of a noise when I started on dry land. I guess that's normal for these, so I'm not gonna sweat it. I'm gonna go put it in the water, see how she does. We've got her hooked up to the old sidekick here. Thing is looking like an absolute unit towing these freaking jet skis. Lord of men right here. They're literally bigger than the car. So there's that, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, stall out going uphill <laughs> <laughs> Right things actually got some pep in its step. I think it'll probably do all right towing them So and when I think of Florida, I think this is like this is the picture here, dude Just needs a surfboard on the roof. A little surfboard on the roof and uh, the sidekick down. towing some jet skis That are in in good working order worth more than the car. Would you would you say that or no? I mean, yeah, just one of those. That's nuts. Good working orders worth more than nothing. That's uh, about the same. I just don't get jet skis, man. They hold some value. Like, so much more functionality out of this than these. Yeah, but you usually don't see anyone frowning on a jet ski. Right. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, we're going to get loaded up. We're running out of sunlight like it's a bad habit or a good... No, that doesn't make sense. So, we're going to get in the car and we're going to go. Well, you can see the lake right there. Never been over here, so hopefully they just have like a public boat ramp and we can go drop these things in the water real quick. Yeah, I don't know if they're exactly registered or anything, but I mean, make sure they float. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> it ain't illegal if you don't get caught. Or if you post it to all your followers. <laughs> <laughs> Found the boat ramp, baby. Let's see how Kyle backs in this trailer. I'll back this thing up, dude. <laughs> back that ass up. Might be a little 
about all that oil, too. Rev it up. <laughs> She's rich. There it goes. Hey. She sounds a lot better. I'm pretty sure this is a wakeless zone. This is the second time ever I've been on a jet ski. That's probably one of your better purchases. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I say that about everything I buy. Cool. <laughs> but at least this runs just no, right in the water. Almost did nothing to it. it. Right, well, up. Sure, like you were saying, make sure we ain't taking water. Hey, she's pretty empty. I mean, it's definitely not full. Dude. This thing just needs. It just needs the seat really cleaned up, and it's other. It's pretty clean other than the seat. Yeah, dude. Like the. If you like I... actually washed it off and just restickered yeah. it, it looked fine. I might actually take and polish it, dude. I got that little polisher from Astro Tools. I think I might just take and like give her a little quick buff, and uh, I can get seat covers. I already looked those up; they're super cheap on eBay. Just get seat covers for both of them, and dude, I think I got a solid little freaking ripper. You got I really need to drain deal. the fuel tank though. It's trying to load up, so well, you my also mixed ass, oil. I mixed gas and put it in, and I didn't realize that this has an oil pump on it. So it's getting double duty on the oil. So she a little she a little rich. You gotta kinda rev her up, clear her out, but she fucking rides, dude. So sick. Not Ooh. Bad. All right, brother, hop on there. <laughs> <laughs> Got old Kyle on there now. Gonna give her a shot, dude. Hell yeah, dude. All right, guys, super quick little trip to the lake here. Uh, Jeski did awesome. We were just out there. Just wanted to make sure it floated and that it ran. Uh, the, no the noise did go away when we put it in the water, so I'm sure it's just the, the common sea dew noise. I guess that's a common thing on them. So yeah, it's freaking awesome. They ran, the one ran great. Uh, just need to get on the other one, get that thing fixed. I let Kyle rip, rip it. What do you think? It's awesome, dude. Dude, for what it is, yeah, I mean, I know you've been on really fast ones, so it's like hard to compare. But the jet ski's fun no matter which, like no matter what you're on, honestly. Right. So hopefully Kyle gets one like by this weekend. Hoping to have to now. Oh, this road is so narrow. <laughs> All right, we're good. All right, but uh, yeah, hopefully Kyle gets one so we can go out and rip, or I can at least maybe find a turbo for the Aqua Tracks and get that thing up and running soon. Uh, lots more to come on these things. Probably do a couple videos on getting these things all fixed up. The sea dew probably needs a little tune-up. I need to drain the tank and get that mixed fuel out of there so that it's not running super rich. And that's probably why um, it wanted to stall today. And then it also kind of like nosed over on the top end. It's probably trying to foul those plugs out with how much oil it's getting. So that's that. Uh, we're going up here to get a couple of pictures with it just because this whole setup looks good. And then we will touch base again when we're back at the house. So we just got back from the lake and got the trailer unhooked and parked over here. Uh, the Sea-Doo ran really good, but I don't know if I mentioned it earlier. I actually went ahead and mixed up five gallons of fuel with oil uh, for the ski. It is a two-stroke, so I just did it out of habit, went ahead and mixed it and poured five gallons into this thing, not realizing that this thing actually has an oil injection system on it, so you don't need to mix fuel. My bad, went ahead and did it anyways. It's not gonna hurt anything, it just kinda loads them up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a new set of spark plugs for this thing. I think with a new set of spark plugs and draining that fuel out and just putting straight 91 in it will make it run a lot better. It kinda wanted to load up and die at idle and also kinda nosed over at the top end. So might need a little tune up, might just need some fresh gas that isn't mixed already. Not quite sure, but for the most part, ran really good. So I'm excited about that. Uh, didn't take any water on, so I honestly couldn't be more happy with this purchase. 
Again, big thank you to Mike for hooking it up with the jet skis. It was definitely worth the 26 hour or so drive up to Virginia Beach to pick these guys up. So the one already out ripping on the water has pretty much no issues. Just want to touch up a little things to make it a little bit cleaner. And then as far as the aqua tracks goes, we got a little bit of work to do there, but shouldn't be anything major. And hopefully very soon we'll have that one up and ripping also. So that's going to be it for this video. If you guys want to see more on the jet skis or hopefully some updates on the drag truck coming very soon, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. If you did notice the name change, I got rid of Sketchy DA. Not to sound full of myself, but my build aren't really sketchy and I no longer own a DA which was the platform of the car that started the channel so just switched it to my name hope you guys don't mind that quick change uh, I kind of did it without announcing it so if you guys get some weird notifications coming across and you're like who the hell is this Wyatt dude it's just me um, but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel leave a comment and a like down below love hearing from you guys as always and we will see you in the next video peace